Hello there, this is Renata once again, our video number seven. Um, I'm over here in Connecticut where nature is still pretty alive and so inspiring. It's a beautiful summer day finally here today. And uh, I'm here to share chakra number two. Yes, last week we explored the root chakra, the color red, the need for survival and connecting with our body and our contract here on this earth and this experience in this lifetime. And today going a little bit above in the spine, the area is the sacrum plexus, pelvic area, a little bit above with your last uh, bone of the spine. The color here is orange and is an invite for fluidity, movement in the body to you know, release and connect with this area, but also movement in the heart, in the soul, in the mind, where it translates to our ability to accept and embrace change in our life. Needless to say, there is this element of water, of fluidity, of movement. Um, and it's how we deal with the unexpected, with the things that we are not really thinking about and how do we embrace or now will we resist these circumstances or events. Here is where we build up our emotions, it's the building blocks of our emotions. If you have a surprise or bad news or some sort of event that you are not expecting, first you feel in your body a sensation, there is a sensation in your body. Let's say for myself, if I have a bad news or something like this, I feel in my gut, I feel in my stomach. I feel like I just had a punch in my stomach. So the sensation is this, it's a punch in the stomach. And then after the sensation, there is a feeling that comes right after that. And perhaps again, I'm gonna share the way I feel. When something like that happens to me, I feel sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. So there's a feeling, there's a sensation, and there's a feeling that comes. I feel sick. After that, our mind, our brain, goes resource back in something or circumstances that had happened before that reminds you of this experience and brings back the story that you have already restored. So emotion, there is an emotional feeling that comes from the sensation and feeling. So the emotion is nothing but our brain going backwards in time into our files and finding something that is similar to what you're experiencing right now and projecting that, that emotion into this present time. Therefore, bringing a whole story into what's happening right now. And the basic need for us to connect with this part of our body, our sacrum plexus, is to be fully present, to experience fully whatever is happening in our lives in a very present and mindful way. So this is a great practice for you to be fully present and actually exercise this. Be mindful and notice first a feeling in your body. There is a sensation in your body which translates to a feeling, which translates to an emotion. So that's actually the building blocks of our history, of our experience here in this lifetime. The down uh, side of this chakra is guilt. Another aspect of this is this area of our bodies where we experience sexual pleasure. So there is a need for us to recognize that sexual pleasure is it's something sacred, it's something beautiful and something that we shouldn't be ashamed or feel guilty about it. So I don't know about you guys but most of women, right girls, we tend to just cater to everybody and we're very empathic people and we are always trying to make sure everybody is okay and we tend to put ourselves in the last place in line. And again, it's, there is a need for us not to feel guilty and it's important that we create a practice that brings us back into this idea of uh, become present, fluid, finding joy, engaging with creativity, engaging with people and circumstances that are going to remind us of who we are and how can we embrace change. So then again, it's important to connect with these aspects of ourselves. Every chakra is here to show us a way of being and experience life. Uh, there's so much wisdom in the body and if we can just like started to decode this a little bit, it's, it's really, really helpful to create a more joyful, meaningful and present uh, lifetime. 
and again if you are missing and disconnecting to this area movement dance a yoga practice um, drumming music anything that inspires your soul that moves energy from the body are great practices for you to connect with this space i hope this was helpful hope to see you next time make sure to subscribe don't forget namaste